start off painting any kind of animal with just a simple base layer of color so I'm going in with a light brown here to get the lightest shade of the fur. Sometimes furry animals can be hard to paint, but I try not to be too realistic when it comes to especially curly haired dogs. Um, you just kind of want to get the suggestion of the fur without going into too much detail because I think if you try to get all the little shadows and curls in there, it just starts to look a bit messy. And I prefer when it's not super photorealistic as well so I just try to suggest the overall shape of the fur instead of thinking about it in individual strands if that makes sense. go in and start adding some of those shadows. I'm going in with just a darker brown and I really like to kind of build up my shadows slowly instead of putting really dark shadows in there. So I'm just going through and lightly suggesting the texture of the fur and again not being too realistic, just kind of building up the shape, um, the differentiating between the front legs and the back legs and the ears from the head, stuff like that. And I'm taking some black and building in the nose and the eyes. And again, I don't like to be realistic with this process because I feel like when you try to be realistic, if anything is off, it just makes the whole picture look off. So I like to make dogs look happy because that's the way they are. They're usually very happy and content. Um, so that's really what I was trying to go for here. And when I paint dogs in general, I just try to kind of capture their happy essence and um, yeah, so and then I'm kind of looking at the picture and figuring out what Mabel's specific traits are. So she has some little white spots on her nose and on her tummy, so I'm including those as well. darker brown and this will be my darkest shadow and I will just use this brown to really differentiate between her paws and sort of the different outlines and dark shadows in her fur so this will be the last sort of shadow layer that I'll be adding to the painting.
some coral red and I'm gonna make a really sweet pink color to paint in her collar. And I almost forgot her tail, so I'm adding that in now. <laughs> pictures I received of Mabel there were these really nice little suitcases kind of styled next to her and although they were more gray in the photo I decided to make them a bit of a light blue and I kind of placed her on top of them proudly and now I'm just painting those in. There's also a little vase with some daffodil flowers beside her that I really wanted to capture. So that's what I'm painting now and I know that painting glass and water and sort of flowers in a vase with water and it's clear, it's really hard to paint, but I just found that not trying to be too photorealistic and just kind of keeping it loose and fun is really the best way to go in my opinion. The same thing applies for the daffodil flowers. I just like to keep it loose and fun and I don't know, daffodils are pretty easy to paint in general but um, I really don't try to include too too much detail when it comes to these flowers.
tend to really love to paint flowers that have a good amount of contrast, whether in color or just in light and shadow. And I love to paint daffodils for this reason. Sometimes they have a bright orange center, sometimes it's a darker yellow, sometimes it's the same color, but it's just nice to kind of use a darker yellow in the center and really emphasize it. Um, and this is why I love to paint flowers like pansies so much too, because they just have that nice contrasting color and just really makes everything pop. When it comes to the stems in the water versus the stems that aren't in the water, I'm again just looking at my reference photo and keeping it loose and just kind of trying to be suggestive without being too realistic. and. Because they look so kind of abstract in the water anyway, it's kind of hard to go wrong at this point. final touch I'll just paint a little M on her collar to personalize it and make it really nice and sweet. I've got my hat on. I am going to go do some painting in the backyard because it is the most beautiful day out today. Finally, it's spring here in Toronto and I want to take advantage. So here I am. What are you gonna do, Bella? <laughs> 